Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a freezing week in Sussex this week. We have had sub-zero temperatures all week long. Today we've had glorious winter sunshine, um, but it's still stayed really, really frosty. I haven't really had much chance to get out in the garden at all this week, although this time last week, I spent almost the whole day pruning the wisteria which is a job that I usually do in Feb but I decided to do it in January because I've got a bit more time this month. Uh, it took a long time but it is done and I'm pleased about that. Um, I've done a few odd little jobs and my lovely husband has built me a bench this week um, out of a sleeper which he bought off of Facebook marketplace for £10 so that was a bit of a bargain um, and he's also got my last bit of wood for me for the second new border that we're adding so hopefully in the next week I might be able to go and get some compost so that we can start to fill that and then really it's just going to be waiting for the temperatures to warm up so that I can start doing some stuff. Um, one job which I've got to do, although I, I'm gonna be putting it off, um, is we've decided to paint all this fencing black to match the other black fencing that we've got. But this Clematis, which is an early flowering alpine variety, has got loads of signs of growth. Let me show you. Can you see? It's really starting to wake up um, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to paint the fence because it's quite well attached so if we are going to do it it's got to be done in the next few weeks. I'm going to have to flop it forward and very very carefully paint that six foot panel. At least get that done in the next few weeks because once it really starts to wake up it's going to be covered in leaves and that's never going to happen. <laughs> Um, so yeah, loads of stuff that I want to get done and I want to get started on, um, but the temperatures are just too bad and there's loads of stuff to do in this garden. Um, anyway, so I hope you enjoy the little bits that I am sharing for the week and as always, thanks for following along. Finally, the rain has stopped. So I'm just heading out to the greenhouse just to give my seedlings a little spritz. I don't want them to be too damp, but definitely some things are looking a little bit dry. So you can see that some of this compost is really dry, um, but I don't want to make it really soggy, especially as we've got a big freeze coming this week. So just a bit of a spritz. will be fine for now. Same with the larkspur. I don't want them to be soggy and to risk them like rotting away. I thought I would give you a quick tour of the Zippy Greenhouse to show you what is growing um, as we head into the back end of January. Um, I haven't gone mental on the autumn sowing this year because it was disastrous for me last year. I had fungus nets that ate lots of stuff and it was just a soggy mess. Then the Zippy Greenhouse blew away and it just wasn't the best experience for me. So I haven't got lots of varieties, but let me show you what I've got. I love Larkspur, and I've actually got three trays of seedlings, as well as some autumn sown ones, which are a bit more established. Um, so I've been sowing these every month since October, just so that I've got plenty, because I love them so much. I've then got a tray of ranunculus here, um, pink and white varieties. 
I put an overflow lot in here, but some of them did get eaten by fungus gnats and didn't do too well, but those two look okay. I've then got some Swan River daisies in here, which were an experiment because I didn't do them in January last year, but apparently you can, so they look okay. Some cuttings which don't look great. That's Oh, it has got a root. I just sort of yanked that out and it did actually have a root, but it doesn't look great. Um, maybe, maybe I'll pop that back in there. Sometimes cuttings don't always look good, but you don't know what's going on beneath the soil. So let's give that one the benefit of the doubt. That one looks okay. Um, that verbena one doesn't look great. I've then got some salvia caradonna that I bought as plugs from Amazon. Um, they haven't really grown at all since I planted them, but I'm sure they will in the spring. I've got some mulva, so I've only ended up with five decent size um, seedlings, but they're putting on loads of growth every week. I was really late sowing my cornflowers, so these aren't as established as lots of people's autumn sown, but I kind of thought it was better to get them in um, and give them a bit of a head start. And then over here, I took some osteospermum cuttings off of the plant I had and just shoved them in a pot. Uh, they're obviously doing okay, so that is good. And that is all that's in here for now. I'm up my ladder in my wisteria canopy uh, doing my winter prune. It's not easy to share this footage because I have nowhere to film, but what I'm doing is taking back these shoots down to two or three buds. Um, it's really, really difficult for me to do the August prune because when all of this is covered in leaves, it's very difficult to climb in here. So I will show you what it is I'm doing. Some of these shoots, this one being a good example, didn't have an August prune because I couldn't get up here. Um, but now I'm going to cut that back. This is where the buds are. One, two, three. I'm going to cut it back by three buds and then post that through the gap into my rubbish pile. And again, I've got another example here of a shoot which is just a big tangled mess. So wisteria gets a lot of this whippy new growth. Um, when you're wanting to spread your wisteria, you tie it in, but if you happen to shape, then you need to trim. So again, I think I've actually knocked that bud off quite a bit over here. But I'm gonna cut it back to three buds. Sussex I think we are due temperatures of like minus three minus four probably for the rest of the week now so I have got my good old trusty frost fleece and I'm going to wrap up things in my greenhouse and also a couple of plants which didn't look too happy after the last frost so I don't want any more damage so I'm just going to spend half an hour getting ready <laughs> for another big chill.
greenhouse is done. I'm not taking any chances and I have done a double layer of fleece. Um, luckily I've not got too much out here but I'm not risking any of my precious Larkspur being destroyed. Um, must remember to close the zippy and close greenhouses tonight. Right, off to do my fatsia now. garden in the light um, all week it has been extremely frosty I have had covers on a few things I'm just about to go and have a peek in the greenhouse to see what's going on I've covered up my new plants um, and I can't wait for the weekend because I think it's gonna be a little bit milder and I'm hoping to squeeze in a few hours of garden time down in the greenhouse just having a little look things have been covered up all week but everything is looking okay I think that fleece has probably leaned on those a little bit much but all is okay ranunculus look fine swan river daisies fine yeah mulva all okay which is good news I can see spring bulbs popping through everywhere now, which is exciting, um, and in the borders as well. So loads of signs of new growth. The sun's just about to set. Viola's looking good. Amazingly, they're so resilient. I need to give them a little deadhead, actually. Um, that can be a Saturday job I think but we're surviving I am running out to the greenhouse with wet hair there's ice on the ground it's freezing but these Swan River daisies this is my second batch um, need to come out in the greenhouse and despite it being freezing the others in the greenhouse are fine so I'm gonna bring them out to join their friends it's really sunny and bright in here um, and the temperatures have gone up a little bit and it's starting to defrost so I'm gonna take the fleece off and let everything have a bit of a breather and a bit of sun so here we go you can see everything's melted um, I'm sure everything's fine Oh. Okay, that was really unlucky. That was my Swan River daisies that got caught and have just fallen upside down. So God knows what the state of them is going to be like. Everything is looking okay, I think. <laughs> Phew! Literally, they've been covered all week. Um, but yeah, I just thought a bit of a breather. The temperature's warmed up a little bit. Um, yeah, looking good. Okay, that is really annoying. It's tipped out and they've kind of fallen everywhere. Perhaps I will, I mean, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think I'm going to thin them out, save what I can and put some in a tray. I'll do that now. I haven't quite got the right um, seed tray in the greenhouse. Really, I want a plug plant tray because they are teeny tiny, so it will save me compost. I'm so annoyed that they just fell. Damn it. Anyway, hopefully I'll be able to save them if I do it quick. Right, I am back and I have just filled up these plug plant trays so I haven't bought these these are just 
um, like from deliveries I've had. So when I've bought tiny plug plants, they've come in these and I just keep them. But for teeny tiny seedlings, they are just perfect. So I'll try and thin and save some of those Swan River daisies. Okay, this is terrible filming quality. Uh, I've made tiny little holes and then I'm literally gonna pluck them out by the leaves. They're actually pretty robust little things, but they are deeny tiny. I'm gonna put it in and then backfill it and hope for the best. Garden accidents do happen. Uh, sometimes you just have to do your best to try and make the best of a bad situation. Who knows, this could actually be, you know, it could be that this is meant to be. It's meant to be that I experimented with these in January, I thinned them out and I'm going to have loads of amazing plants. You never know. Um, there's actually so many in here that I can't possibly pot them all on. And actually this is one of those really lovely mindful gardening activities like thinning out seeds although in Feb and March it's like a really overwhelming task um, when you haven't got so much to do I actually find it quite therapeutic these have really surprised me that we've been minus four and they're doing really well and they've not gone leggy yet. Um, I wish I could remember um, the website I found that grew these in the winter. Sometimes it just takes you to read one thing and make you think that you're going to give it a go too. So yeah, here we go. They're going in really nicely. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more garden vlogs and hit the like button. Thank you.